crazy or is that like the time? As time changes, is it, is it Kardashians that change that? Oh yeah, I I read like a whole article about how they had changed. What's up, guys? We're the Continuity Crew. I'm well. <laughs> that is when yawning. We're lazy. running through this we shit, bro. It, dude. I feel yeah. good getting these episodes going. Yeah. You might be wondering why we're wearing the same clothes because we're knocking this shit out. It's Oscars though. We got Oscar Emma. Movie, basically, Emma Film Report. Emma Film Report. So what's an episode? What's a film report? Will what's a film report? You yeah. ask. It's like a book report. But on a film, it's funny because we're about to get rid of this. <laughs> we're not gonna get rid of. We're it. not gonna get. Rid of it. We're gonna. Uh, we're gonna. Like, we're testing another show. We have Test. a special thing right here. We're testing another show. We'll announce it probably on next week's Continuity Weekly. Yeah, if probably. I guess. So we have a dead week, so why not? Yeah, why not? Oh yeah, we're gonna knock out some film reports too this week, though. Y'all. But anyways, nominated for two Oscars, we're on the road to the Oscars. We have got costume design and makeup. Yeah. Deserves them. I'm yeah. not going to lie. I can yeah. see both these winning. We'll get that out of the way. can't believe they didn't get Best Actress, though. She did a pretty good job. She did, but I, I, I just didn't see any standout acting. Yeah, we'll talk about this more. The whole we're likes and do dislikes. We're going to Oscar episode. We're, it'll, honestly, I wouldn't mind going like in depth on like everything. Like It'll be probably a long episode. Yeah, but, probably. Well, that's fine. Oscar podcast. But anyway, synopsis. You want to give that one? No, I'm not even going to try. I didn't even, you know, okay, so we're going to start off. We're simple American boys. This movie's posh as fuck. <laughs> yeah. It is. It's just Deja like, vu. What the fuck? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. But it's posh. It It's, it's elegant. It's like, it feels like a british tv but a movie and it's just like <laughs> it, it it it's just and it's it feels like a play in some yeah. senses um i'm gonna read the imdb thing first and then i'll try and put it in my own words but in 1800s england a well-meaning but selfish young woman meddles in the love of and lives of her friends which yes that's perfect so yeah. anna taylor joy plays emma there's actually another one and emma maybe Played by Gwyneth Paltrow, I believe. Yeah, I I hadn't seen it. I just while watching this, I saw that. But um, she has a friend, little uh, Miss <laughs> Miss Taylor. We Miss Miss Taylor. Yes. Um, and she, Harriet. She, she tries to play like a matchmaker. Harriet. Yeah. But uh, she like tries to set her up with men because it seems like that's what she's done in the past. Set up people. She plays matchmaker. Yeah. And um, she does all her stuff, and but then she like tells her to say no, messes with her life, and it's all this stuff back and forth, and like it's very it feels like a Shakespeare play, yeah, in the sense of the romance, it's yeah, like, yeah, and it might be, I don't but know. there's no death or incest. That's true. Yeah. Uh, synopsis: uh, plays matchmaker, screws up, finds a. But uh, you know, if you're watching this, you've probably seen Emma. Yeah, but if you're just here for the review, just wait. So yeah, we'll talk to, about yeah. the movie itself a little more. Likes, yeah. dislikes, stuff like that. Just keep watching, though. Make sure you subscribe. Super specific uh, genre, though. Drama. Posh. Oh. Posh drama. Yeah. <laughs> yes, posh drama romance. Yeah, we're planning on that, being posh, but it's mainly it because is, like, we just like... Uh, like, yeah. no, like, that's the reason it's totally nominated for makeup and costume. It just, it, it sets the tone yeah. perfectly. And it's... On IMDb, comedy, drama, romance. I think it's a little too, like I said, smart for American brains to be a comedy. <laughs> it feels very Shakespeare, though, and I guess there is comedy in almost all Shakespeare stuff. So, moving on. Favorite character? Um, Mine's Knightley. Really? Yeah. yeah he just seemed like, like a chill good. dude. Uh, he knew what he wanted. He did. He knew the He's vibe. playing coy with Emma, but he knew what he wanted. <laughs> He wanted Emma. Oh, uh, the, the pastor, whatever his name was. The, the pastor. I hated the him. Teacher. Yeah, I know. Wow, he is the <laughs> worst. God, what a just what a baby. <laughs> he's so such a loser. Oh man. Uh, we everyone. Uh, I thought that you know, like with her friend and um, that guy was gonna get together. Mm -hmm. But yeah, cause, oh man, there's so many like twists and turns with like, oh, who's getting with who? Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> but yeah, I still favorite. liked it though. Uh favorite scene. Ooh. Ooh, this. I feel like this whole movie is a scene. 
Ooh. Um, <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Um, I don't know. I did. I will say, I like. Uh, I like the picnic scene where Emma's just a bitch. That poor old, old lady. Yeah. I'm like, damn. Yeah, I feel bad for her. Oh yeah. And everyone's just okay with it. I guess. I. I think I have multiple favorite scenes. Maybe I like the reveals of like, oh no, it's this. Oh no, she loves him and this. I mean, I I I was very invested in the story. Oh, I don't. I don't know, man. That's fine, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it's just a it's a lot. It's not it's not the entertainment we're used to. It's not really a movie that I like I like so much. I don't get me wrong, I love like movies with like royalties and like stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But this movie to me was just like, wow, this just told me that I'm f-ing poor. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah. I, uh maybe whenever that lady shows up. Uh, like anytime that, that that annoying lady shows oh, up, oh yeah, because yeah. I'm always like I know a person like that, uh-huh. and like at the same time, like I feel really bad, but at the same time, it's like please just stop. Hey, but stop. you know, Emma told her how it was. <laughs> she was real. She said, "Oh, just like whatever you open your mouth, say you shut the hell up." Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "Damn, oh my god!" But yeah. um, that's yeah, that's fair scenes. enough. Yeah, if you could have one thing from set, what would it be? Oh no, um. <laughs> Hair? You can say that. Um, I think, dude, just one of the costumes, dude. I want to look fly like they did. That was so cringe to me. The the collar up. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Looking snazzy as hell. Uh, I remember when I was younger when that was like a thing. But yeah. Um. Yeah. Freaking Knightley's costume. Look at that dude. That's what I yeah, want. That looks fresh. Yeah. Fresh as hell, especially the hat. <laughs> One of the carriages. One of the carriages. Man, <laughs> if there ain't no car, you got to have a damn carriage. It looked fancy. It was like, that's Fair really enough. classy. Fair enough. Fair. Looks like you could off-road it. <laughs> oh, but this, the chick the priest dude wears, this chick? Yeah, she was in a... Um, screw her. She was in a... Uh, I think She's, she was... She was in that show. Sex Education. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yep. She, she forgot. Literally not much else, it looks like. Nope. But I don't think she did a good job. Being a bitch. Yeah, she did. Yeah. She was a bad bitch. Um, if you could change one thing to make it better, what would it be? Do you think that well, I'd say I wouldn't say better, just easier for me to understand. <laughs> just Americanize it. Do you think this there's an American uh, a more English not English, this is English. Um a more a, a modernized version. That's the one I wanna see that. I bet there is. I, I bet know. there is, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. I'll look it up, actually. Any movie with, like, them setting up a date? Yeah. yeah. Well, but I'm pretty sure nowadays it's a big no-no. Where, uh, like, you're setting up a friend for No, a there's that like, whole movie on uh, Netflix with Jimmy Woo, I think. Uh, would you be my baby? My maybe? My maybe? I think something maybe. Could you be my oh, maybe? Oh, it literally clueless is. Clueless? Yeah. I don't, I don't think I've seen Clueless. Yeah, no, yeah. I didn't even think about that, but yeah, it kind of is. Clueless. I'm going to add that because I don't know what that is. That's a good one. I think Paul, is that on Netflix? Paul Rudd's in it. Ah, uh, maybe. On. I think I actually own it. <laughs> Clueless. Huh. Literally didn't even think about that, but yeah, there is. Clueless. You should watch it. It's fun. I'll look it up. Okay, then next question is likes and dislikes. Um, just how posh you <laughs> Do you dislike that? Yeah, I definitely didn't like. I that. I didn't like it either, but I I like the idea of it. If I was in a different mood, I would be like, "Yeah, this is fun." Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I we get it, but we didn't like it when we watched yeah. it. I don't know, like anything, mo- any movie that has like way too ostentatious for me. That's like, oh, like you word. gotta hold a cup of tea like this, and like mm-hmm. you gotta like. Yeah, I think that kind of stuff is just way too annoying for me. Fair enough. Because like I hate it when uh, when I, I again it's a it's it's the it's a mo- it's the movie it's like the whole movie's like that, but like when it's just stuff like that it just I don't know it just it's something about that makes me tingle. A little Fair bit. enough. Do you see uh, this guy's gonna be uh, the doctor for the live action Powerpuff Girls? I don't want to know. <laughs> Fair enough. 
I know has has, has got Cameron Dove. Yeah, she's younger than me and she's more uh, successful. Mm. So that's just great. Uh, likes the costumes. I mean, what it's nominated for. Yeah, the, the, the acting's great. good too. Yeah, the acting, yeah. The performances, some of the music is really yeah, um, it sets pretty the good. Tone well, it's a very good set piece. I guess. It's a movie that I wouldn't even know how to sound for. Yeah, like yeah, like the standard like you know violin sound mm-hmm. and like yeah Do-do-do. anything violin and a harp or whatever, mm-hmm. I can get that. But like I, I think this movie just uh, I don't know. It's better, uh, not better, but it's a it's a um, it's a good al- alternative to the crown. Yeah. The yeah. crown's very over dramatized and it's like yeah. this the, it crazy. in the sense like this is almost the next step over dramatization. It's yeah. over dramatized and it that's kind of the comedic part of it. <laughs> it's like if uh if Britain had a trashy like <laughs> in the eighteen uh, just friends style yeah. kind of movie where it's like, you know, it's not supposed to mean anything, yeah. but it's a comedy. This is it. Yeah. This is dry humor <laughs> everywhere. But my favorite part is definitely Anya Taylor Joy, though. Fair enough. Liked her in uh, Queen's Gambit, and just, liked her in this one. Still haven't seen. Queen. Hey, I, I liked. Split. I liked her in New Mutants. Her character was badass. <laughs> oh, I movie. forgot she was in that. <laughs> yeah, but ca- the movie sucked. <laughs> I like her uh, little dragon in that. I think yeah. that was a dragon. Yeah. What was his name? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. The movie sucked. <laughs> it's over with. <laughs> Would you remake? They remade it as Clueless. I wouldn't touch this. I just I I think I would I would I don't think I could like emotionally <laughs> comprehend it. I don't know. I feel like everyone's already made this movie kind of. Cuz like I, it's just it feels like a very standard like let's say it was like a friends of benefits or like no strings attached yeah. type deal where it's it, like it is kind of like a an 1800s rom-com. Yeah, and they're just like, you know, instead of hooking up uh, they're just like court they're courting, or whatever. They're yeah, courting each other. Yeah. <laughs> In modernization, it's like you gotta fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, essentially. I was like, damn. Like, yeah. Like when I saw they like don't kiss until like the two hour mark. Like nobody does. Yeah. And I'm like, wow. That really. I was like, it surprised me. I was like, wow. That really shows. Like we live in a society. <laughs> but it shows. Like I was like, wow. Yeah. I guess. Most entertainment is really over sexualized because I was like actually like shocked when they did. Yeah. Because I was like into it. I was like, oh, wow. I didn't even think about that. All I could think of was like, man, this movie is just so like, it's just so much like British. Yes. And I have no problem with British. It was just so posh. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's just so they fancy, are- classy. And I'm like, I don't feel like I belong in this. Yeah. <laughs> So um, I could connect with any of the character whatsoever. Yeah, I know. Even yeah, that's true. <laughs> Couldn't connect with them, but like, I was like, oh, it's something. Definitely uh-huh. a timepiece in the modern era. Oh God. Um, and just to wrap it up, critical rating. Even though I've trashed it this much, I want to say seven and a half. I'll give it a seven. Yeah. And like, then it was just annoying the the, the whole posting, but they did a pretty good job. Yeah. No. Like yeah. Admittedly. And then enjoyment rating. I feel like this will be. A different number. I'm going to give it a five. I was very annoyed. So I want to say four. It just felt slow. I was invested, but it just felt slow. It wasn't even slow. It was just there were some things that they said was like, dude, no. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you shouldn't go that far, but eh, whatever. Yeah. yeah. It's true enough. True enough. I'll give it a four or five. Um, I would definitely recommend this to anyone who doesn't have a girlfriend. Yeah, fair or enough. Or boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, or just like likes older stuff like this i mean yeah. like it did feel very S- shakespeare but it's well, who is it jane is it jane 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 austen yeah yeah so yeah. you know you can watch emma it's on hbo max if you got hbo max so watch it if you want i like how emma's just like a bad bitch and i'm just into she that is. she's just that yeah. bitch she is 100 <laughs> percent. but anyways that's her film report yep on emma yep Watch it. Don't. I don't know. But you know what you should do? You should subscribe. Mm. Then you should like. And then you should comment. What's your favorite Anna Taylor Joy performance? But anyways, we've been the Continuity Crew. It's Gambit, definitely. I'm Will. Mine's New Mutants. Win. Thank y'all for watching. <laughs> we love movies. We love y'all. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Yeah, because you haven't seen Queen's Gambit, have you? Nope.